just a second ago because I'm, I'm pretty psyched on Virgos for some awesome reason. You know, that sounds like it never was fine. But anyways, <laughs> don't flatter yourself, people. <laughs> or go ahead and do that. But anyways, yeah. Um, um, well, I was just picking up, like, she, he's going to show me a picture or something so I can try to psych, like, read it off of it. And But when I first picked up off him, I was like, well, are you, like, a little brother? Like, are you, like, the youngest or something? And then he's like, no. And he's like, I'm the middle child. And I'm like, and he said, he, he already said he had two sisters. And I'm like, well, did the youngest sister move away first? And then you were the little brother and you had a bigger sister. Is that right? Yes. So that's something I got picked up on. So picked up on that. <laughs> And, um, like, um, did you play baseball? <laughs> no. Well, did you have a baseball clothes on or something? Yeah. Yeah. Like, I've ha I've got pictures. Like gray and blue? Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Because you was a little boy. Yeah, I was little. Like, I played t-ball. Yeah, you're mad about it. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying! When you're a little boy, it looked like baseball clothes. Yeah. And, um... And, um, there, the light is on you to tell the truth. It's like scary light. What did, where were you July 19th of 2001? I don't know, whatever. Who knows? Um, but anyways, um, did you have an issue tearing up your shoes? With tearing up your shoes? And shoelaces or something like that? Mm hmm when you were, like, wearing the outfit. And you had, like, a... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And you had, a, like, a blue baseball hat on, too, or something, or not? Cap? I don't know. Mm -hmm. but, well, then... I, but you had issues with tearing up your shoes or something, and you would chew on something. <laughs> Probably your shoelaces. <laughs> mm, I really don't know. I wore, shoe, I wore shoes out, like, really easy. Well, whatever. Who doesn't? Generic. No, like, my feet are... My feet were really wide, so, like, my pinky toe would, like... Oh, but don't wear off. That, side. Well, that's a good explanation. It was just some kind of issue with that. Generic sounding, but it was something I picked up on. But it'd be cool if I was like, is it something you do with your fucking toe? You know what I mean? That would yeah. go on and progress. So you're supposed to not cheat. That's the whole point. You don't tell us I get nothing. Just yes or no. Mm -hmm. You don't I accidentally pushed it. Um, okay, let's get to the pictures. Okay. And I'll try to read them. <clears throat> we'll be back after these short messages. Messages. Beep, beep, beep. I'm thinking up brain surgery right away. Mm -hmm. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. right I mean, now? Brain surgery. Okay. Thinking up on brain surgery. Is there somebody who got brain surgery in your family? Um, it's a chick. A girl with brain do surgery. you want to see this picture? Brain surgery, a chick. Yeah. I'm right? Yeah. I'm right! I didn't even see the picture! Yeah. I'm picking up on brain surgery from your fucking hand, and I'm not even seeing a picture yet. And it's covered, covered up. Okay, and I'm. Um, it's covered up. Um. Uh, and red hair, like auburn, light, strawberry blonde hair. Mm -hmm. But brain surgery with brain um, galls all over the head. Probably. And they have a small head. Like, you know, and um, brain surgery. <laughs> and um, Cancer. Okay, well, brain surgery. Just literally yeah. brain damage. But whatever. Uh, but, and I'm getting, uh, let me go back to picking wherever I picked it up from, because I can't just like, go, oh, you know, swim over here where I'm away from the energy. <laughs> Um, and it's a girl. It's all good. Okay. And you're like, you're serious? And I'm like, what? You're lying to me? Because we're going to liars. <laughs> I mean, I just clicked on this picture and you were like, you were like, brain surgery. I'm like, how the hell did you know that? Cool. Like, okay. Crazy. And you said this was a test. It's yeah. Like it's somebody's dead or not. Yeah. And, um, uh, does she have a daughter? Yeah. And she had to say, yeah, like $3. Or, yeah, and they all looked like pressure moment dolls when they were little, yeah. Like, but they and they had like the youngest one has like uh brownish, um, amber colored eyes and like a little precious moment doll nose. Mm -hmm. They all look like precious, not and shot blonde hair. And the youngest looked like a boy haircut, like a precious moment doll, <laughs> yeah. And she was always having to say goodbye to them, and she was giving her the most attention, the youngest. Oh, yeah. She because was spoiled. She were, yeah, the youngest was spoiled. And she was kind of mean sometimes. Like, she didn't understand why she had this person? anger problems. No, the little kid. The youngest one. Yeah, I mean, she could, she could be that way. Yeah, and this person has blue eyes, though. 
This person? Yeah, the blind surgery one. The what? The one with brain surgery or whatever. Does she have blue eyes or not? I think so. But the kids have dark brown eyes. Besides the Probably, oldest one. The yeah. oldest one? The oldest one became tall or something. Oh, yeah. The oldest one became really tall. And she got a haircut, too, like a boy. <laughs> Later on, with strawberry blonde hair. Which one? The tallest one. Taller than a mom with the brain surgery. I think. I don't know. The I thought you were talking about her son. He, the, he's the oldest, and he's really tall. Oh, but he looks like a girl? <laughs> no. But he looks like his mom. So he looks like a girl. <laughs> yeah. And he has strawberry blonde hair, right? He did. He has eyes, like, pretty shape and blue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, there's... Mm. And then... <laughs> <what's> the thing? <laughs> okay, um... But his hair, he kind of looked like he had a haircut. Like, it was, like, long hair, and it was, like... Pixie haircut, like, for a girl. So. That would have been the style, probably in the 70s and 80s. That's what his hair looks like to me. He looks like a freaking girl with a pixie haircut. Whatever. That's why he looks like a girl to me. <laughs> and he's taller than everybody. And then... And I thought it was, like, somebody's husband or something. And the middle child is kind of heavyweight. I'm trying to think of which one's the middle. <laughs> Melissa, I don't know. Nothing like that. Okay, fuck it all. No, on. but, I mean, my whole family has weight problems. So. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about this. <laughs> I don't even know if this is a family member or not, so get out of that. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Because that's cheating. But it was like that, and saying goodbye to the kids, because she knew uh, she thinks she was going to die. I don't know. But she didn't die when she's in the hospital, right? She ended up not dying, but she's been in the hospital for a really long time. But didn't die in the hospital or something? Well, like, I, she got to go home or something. But... And then had to go back. Then, yeah, like that. Like, she had a period where she... Yeah. This was not the end at first. Right. But this is what it felt like. That she wanted to say her goodbyes because she thinks she's going to die. She thinks she's going to die. But this wasn't the end. So she got to have this other moment or whatever. But she didn't die that time. Right. Is what I was thinking. Even if it was the brain surgery. And, some, and then a clot, too. And it killed her. A brain Maybe. clot. Aneurysm, whatever. She had a gross spur on her neck. I have no clue. Was it? Like, that's a bone, but I have no clue. So I'm, I'm not sure. Then I'm just, I'm just, I don't know what I'm talking about now. But you want, you want me to go I to picked up picture? on that. I'm going to turn that light off. You want to see her picture? <laughs> Maybe in a minute. Uh, okay. But I did pick up on the kids. Oh my God, that's pretty good, huh? Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, let's see the pitch. Okay. Wait, well, well, uh, what about her son? Um, well, her son's married, right? Or not? Mm -hmm. Okay, so she he is somebody's husband. Uh -huh. And, um... 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 They would, they would call her, call him the husband all the time or something about that. Your husband. Get your husband. Like, they would talk to her as and call her the husband. Call him the husband or something? Probably. Fuck it. I mean, he would be... He's, he's, he would be in charge. <clears throat> Did he have um, something wrong with his teeth? Like silver caps? Probably. He had silver caps on his teeth? Some of them? I mean, when he was younger, he probably did. Goodness. Because she smoked cigarettes, too. She had smoked cigarettes and she had brain surgery. Mm -hmm. So she was a smoker and her kids were around that because she's an idiot. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is what I'm seeing. And the kids would smoke, too. Mm -hmm. The kids smoked as little kids, like toddler. Like, they were little... I don't know about toddler, but... Whatever, they were kids. When they were kids. They yeah. were kids, kids. Like, they should not be around cigarettes if they smoked. Yeah. I could see them doing this and smoking and putting it out like an idiot. That's true. That's what I was seeing. <laughs> Unhealthiness. Well, um... <laughs> I want some light, but I don't want that to be in my eyeball. Bye, you're in the spotlight. <laughs> you have C-Rest and Leo, so that's wonderful. But anyways, um, and a lot of other stuff. <laughs> but, okay, let's see. Um, back to the world and see, um, okay. Um, kidney failure. Does she have a problem with kidney failure? Pro yeah. Okay, did her husband have a mole and it was curly hair? Did he look like Mario from Save the Bell? You know, Slater? One of them, yeah. One of them, yeah, I know, right? One of them looked like Slater. And he yeah. came to visit her in the hospital, too. 
Probably, yeah. He had he had a Slater hair, hairstyle. Right? I think so. Like, the way I have it pictured in my head. Okay, cool. Does. And, uh... Did she have earrings up here, too? Mm -mm. Well, somebody did? Anybody? Have earrings that are, like, pierced here, 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 or no. Who knows? It's probably irrelevant, because I guess it was. <laughs> um, it's just irrelevant, stupid stuff. But at least I got the guy, I guess, would be yes. Yes, she did have more than one man. Because things. <laughs> um, registered nurse. Something about that. Um, she was going to become a registered nurse. Maybe. She, she made it through that she wants to be a nurse. She, right? Because she's Maybe. critical of the, her own nurses, or, or she liked them or something. Or she didn't like the way they were treating her, or she wanted to... Or she did. I don't want to, Well, who the fuck? No, that's so Probably true. the way that her kids felt about the situation. Like, they... Mm -hmm. There was a situation, like, I'm sure, where they the kids felt like the nurses weren't doing their job. Okay. Yeah, like, she wanted... When she came out of this, she wants to become a registered nurse because of... She didn't like the way they treated her or something like that. Yeah. That was what I was getting, something like that. Because why would I say both things? Like, she liked it or she didn't. And she wanted to become a nurse, inspired to become a nurse. Some bullshit. Well, it was like that. I don't know. Whatever... Like, that's so important. No, it's not. Um, truck. Did she drive a truck? Like, it was blue. Or she got rides from a truck that was blue. Probably. <laughs> she got rides and, uh, did she wear sandals and she had foot surgery or something? She had, she wore sandals. Um, um, and her toes look like man toes or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was seeing. Like her. hobbit feet. Yeah, and she wants surgery on her feet to make them look better. Is what probably. she was probably joking about. Yeah. And um, hobbit feet. That's funny. And then um, just like a circus, like they would listen to Britney Spears or something. I don't know. Maybe in that. the car. Who knows? Car Maybe. music is everything. Anything. Um, and she drinks coffee and soda. Oh yeah. Like an idiot. Like if you have cancer. <laughs> Lay off the fucking unhealthy things. But she did it anyways. No offense, whatever, I don't know. Did she used to work at Walmart? Maybe at one time. Like, did she work at Sutherland or something? She didn't live here, but she worked... Where she had to wear aprons? Oh, yeah. Mm. Like a red one? Maybe. I don't know, then. <laughs> well, I don't know. And then... Uh, uh, she would wear an apron because she paints. And it, it could have been red. Did she say she wanted to adopt another son? Or something like that? How do you... Does she? You're picking up on stuff because, like, she didn't adopt, but mm -hmm. she had foster kids. Like a son? Mm -hmm. Yeah, multiple. Really? She wanted to adopt sons, I guess? <laughs> I don't know, I guess. Um... um in an RV, like, um, a trailer RV or something. Something like about that. Traveling camper. Anything to do with that? She's like Most a gypsy. She always oh, gets rides. She's she, definitely every, a gypsy everyone gives, everyone gives her a ride. Yeah. I don't think she owns a car. What is she, a cancer sign? They're always the one that never owns a car, but a Virgo will be like, I'll buy you the car, but then they'll be like, no, Virgo, you're going to drive it while you bought me the car. Because <laughs> yeah, cancers don't, don't like to drive. They always get rides. I don't remember what her... I just keep on seeing birthday. her get all these fucking rides from different people. <laughs> like a gypsy. I can look Is up that true? Birthday. Is that true? I mean... Did she die in October? Mm, let me look it up. <laughs> Let's look it up. We're going to test this out. Okay. This is... We'll be back after these short messages. Messages. You don't tell them your life story because that bores them. And plus, it, it makes it to where I can't pick up anything else because you already told me your stupid ass story and you cheated. <laughs> Over now. Bye. And then, um, well, whatever. Um, did your mom used to have red hair? Mm, not, not really. Because I've seen a picture of her now. It's already like completely like grayish. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's pretty color instead of like, all, yeah. But, um, anyways, whatever. Not really? So she didn't have red hair? I thing? mean, like, maybe, like, when she dyed it, it yeah, could have had, like, a red tint, but 
she wouldn't have dyed it red. Okay, well, screw it. I don't know, someone else named April had red hair. I don't know, it's dark red. I, it's just dumb, something I'm throwing out there. Yeah, I know an April that has red hair. Okay, then maybe a bitch. not related. What? Oh, but not related. Well, so. whatever, she's always on her phone, and she's kind of heavyweight. She has bangs, and her hair's down here. She has, like, big boobs. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And fine, then. Fuck it. Ever. <sighs> it doesn't matter. I'm going to go back to your sh- freaking shoes, and when you're a little kid, that was easier. <laughs> um, um, I don't like light at all. I hate it. <laughs> um, let me see. Um, does your dad have really pretty eyes? Like yep. Blue and pretty, like, the shape of your eyes. Mm-hmm. Even though you look... I look a lot like my dad. Yeah, but you do still... Your mom still kind of looks like you, too. Mm-hmm. But your dad looks really pretty. And he's skinny. Oh, no. Well, he used to be, he but he's be not skinny. now. And he, he dyed his hair black or something? He doesn't dye it. Oh, fuck it. But it's, it was black. It was black? Yeah. Okay, there you go. But yeah, look, really pretty eyes. Like, almost like Scarface from The Lion King. Pretty, you know? Yeah. And, like, but dark blue, you know? Yeah, his eyes is, are dark. Because yours is like a lighter grayish colors mm-hmm. and different colors. And I think his is like a dark piercing blue color. And like a little bit of colors in it. Like little speckles. Mm-hmm. And he looks like really pretty or something. Like his eyes. <laughs> and my visions. And he was like really skinny or whatever. And old or whatever. And a small nose. Different shaped from yours. Like a pug nose or something. Yeah, a little bit. Like a ball, you know. Mm-hmm. And um, he looks mad. <laughs> And, That's um, him. And uh, he is kind of hunched over. Yeah. Somewhat. Okay. And um, did he chew tobacco or whatever? He smoked. Oh, whatever. Like cigars? No. Just cigarettes. Okay. Well, I don't cigarettes. really know where I come around this up. Does he have like tattoos right here or something? Or a tattoo? Mm-hmm. Somewhere? I don't know. Cool. Then um, this I, it sounds more like his um, grandpa. His dad? his dad's brother, or maybe his dad. I had a My tattoo grandpa, right here. Yeah. The, the dad's brother. And he has really pretty person eyes, too. I didn't and, know And him. black hair, kind of. I didn't know him, but I have pictures of him. And he has black hair, too? Mm-hmm. Dyed black hair. And, um, and he's skinny, you know? And yeah. And, um, kind of looks mad, too. Oh, yeah. And she's tobacco. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm right about that, then. Yeah. Some dude in your life. Thank you. <laughs> Fell again somewhere. I mean. And then, um, uh, and he has a son. Like a toddler or something he used to have, like with blonde hair. Uh, yeah, I mean platinum blonde hair. Like my gran- like my grandpa, my uncles, they would have had blonde hair when they were little. Well, whatever they had a son with Polterhouse, Poltergeist, little girl, blonde oh, hair, yeah. uh, son. And then they have a two story house. They might have lived in a two story house. I think so. And um red, I don't know. And then um Get out of that store, he says. I don't know. Um, he would have been bossy. Yeah, like, get out of that store. Um, I don't know. And uh, green beans and canned food all the time. Is that what mm-hmm. he always ate? Always eat canned food? Out Probably. Of the can? And he eats out of the can? Probably. Why is that? He was in the Navy, so. Oh, well, then he still has that habit, I guess. And, um, um piano. Did she used to play the piano? Me? Mm-hmm. Not, not regularly. Like, I'm not trained. But, well, there's a place where you would play the piano at oh, like yeah. house, somebody's house. Yeah, my, my family, I have a family member that had one. And you played it, okay. When I was little. Mm-hmm. Coolest, and a big old family. A big, big family. Yeah. And that's, um, and that was a big house, too? Oh. With the piano? Um... I don't know. Okay, there were, okay, there's two houses. With Did you pianos. used to go swimming with, a, and it was a one-piece swimsuit with a thing on your head? No. And goggles. <laughs> goggles, yes. <laughs> no one-piece. <laughs> but I did wear, like, I always wore a t-shirt and shorts together when swimming. Blue? Uh, I'm sure, yeah. I don't know. And not a, uh, a, a, a water cap? No. <laughs> no. Because it looks like in my visions, uh, Superstar, you know, when she was little. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so 
<laughs> I'm funny in my visions. I was, yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yes. That's right. Mary Catherine Gunther. Anyways, that's cool. Um, I look like I have like no eyebrows. I hate that. That's why I wear dead and black. Ew. I didn't see them. Yours is divine. It's just because mine are so dark. But... Yeah, yours is really pretty, and they look like Aries eyeballs. But you were such a red and that's why your eyes are so pretty and long eyelashes. Thank you. And then you're a pretty Libra, ten thousand, whatever. Anyways, ways. And you're Moon and Virgo, and you're a Sun and Virgo with vampire teeth. All Virgos have vampire teeth. See, and I'm right. Thank you very much. Eight minutes in, and we didn't get nowhere. With, but besides this one dude who looks cool in the vision. <laughs> The big house with the piano is my grandma's house. Okay. Um, is she skinny and tall? She's skinny. She's not tall? Mm -mm. She's what? average. Uh, is her hair kind of like your mom's? No. What was I wrong or right about the death and the, and the astrology sign? You were... What was the astrology sign you said? It, I mean, maybe she's a Sagittarius or a Cancer, but I think... Like, she's living like a cancer, because she's got, she's a gypsy. What is August 4th? Oh, August 4th is actually Virgo or, or Leo, actually. Because, like, at the end of September. Maybe right. Cancer April. Leo. Yeah, Cancer Leo. You might be on something there. It might be, because just at the end of July. Like, July is Cancer, and then after that's Leo. Yeah. And then there's Virgo. Yeah. So, well. But she... She died in February. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Not October. Wrong. Okay, well, that's good to know, and that's sad. Um, that means stuff. Her brain problems. She would have brain problems if her eighth house has. Mm -hmm. uh, if her eighth house is in Aquarius, she might die. She might have Alzheimer's, or she might have a brain fucking challenge problem, and that sucks, and that's sad. Okay, when she's in darkness, despair, and in death. <laughs> We do not want that. That's our worst fear, the Aquarius people. Uh, Pisces, cuz squares, but whatever. Next, let's see. Um, shadow self. Um, does she have a swimming pool for kids? Obviously, one of those kiddie pools. She had a swimming pool at her house in, in ground. Oh, but at first there was kiddie pool. Does she have um, kiddie sure, pools? Sure, yeah. And she had pet cows. Mm, well, not in my lifetime. Oh uh, well, I don't know anything about that then. She would visit someplace with cows. I think. I'm sure. And her kids. And they had a kiddie pool wherever she visited. I don't know where this place was, but it has a kiddie pool. And then I did see the pool before, but I didn't know anything about that. So it's my turn to look at the picture. Okay. It's oh my, my god. It's my great aunt. Oh my grandma's sister. Okay. And that picture is in Paris. Well, don't tell me. Oh, cool. Cool. You can see the Apple Tower. I wouldn't know I'm dumb about stuff like that. But that's the Apple Tower? No, that's not the Apple Tower. Well, whatever it is. Maybe that's, that might be London. It's London, France, whatever. Let me see. Okay, um, let me see if I can get this. Yeah, that's, that is, um, okay, that's Big Ben. Somebody, ch okay, okay, one of her, uh, somebody chewed tobacco that, or something. One of her boyfriends. Maybe, I don't know. Was it the pretty guy with, the, I mean, the guy with the pretty eyes or whatever that looks like your dad? Is there anything to do with her, her or not? Not blood related. Okay, well, so that's nothing to do with them, right? Mm -mm. Um, she would have. Does she have tissue paper in her purse? That's like all of my all, family. All, all, all of people. all of well, her I and her siblings. They would have. Yeah, they would have that. In gum purse. and gum and tissue paper. Oh, yeah. Is what I'm seeing. She's like, I have that in my purse. And she had a gray purse. Is she with her purse? Um, her, her, her purse is right there on the side. Is it gray? No, but that's not See, that's yeah. not even her purse. I don't know. Anyways, let me go back to looking at her. Is that the family? The, the this kids? this is somebody else. Okay, well, blow it up. This more. is her again. Okay, let's look it up. Okay, so she probably I don't know Leo probably. Who knows? Maybe a cancer. I don't know. Let's blow it up because I want to see the full on blow it up. Let me see. Okay, um, the uh, go to her own mortuary. Um, and see her. Great. Let me see. I think I'm getting her outfit that she was dead in. Does she wear, uh, like you know, floor? What's it called? The flowers? Floral. Floral. Yeah. Was it uh, uh navy blue with uh, floral floral fucking flowers? 
I don't know. I think not. Probably. I'm not sure. And, um, some about she wanted to be turned into dust. She rather be cremated than, uh, have a viewing. Is that what she said? She rather be cremated? She was not. She was not, but she'd rather be, but she's not. Probably. But that's why I'm saying that she has a viewing. They did her hair all pretty and all that stuff. But, um, I don't know. Um, so, yeah, she's, her death was February 13, 2010. And she was born August 4th, 1933. We should see what is her birth chart sometime. Anyways, um, I really don't know. Let, let me look at the other pictures and see if the other picture of her purse. I think she calls somebody her buddy. If she had a message to anybody, it'd be her buddy. Something about, well, duh. But she, did she call somebody buddy? I'm sure she probably called somebody buddy. Who knows? Um, are those her buddies? <laughs> She's passed away, too. Is her name Helen? <laughs> Looks like Helen. I'm just kidding. Um, proper death, proper funeral. I don't know. Is she a Libra? <laughs> Shit. I'm so confused. I think I, just, I'm, I, I lost connection. A connection to everything. I don't know anymore. Okay, so here she is being silly. Okay, let's look at her being silly. Cut and action. Recording time. I was picking up on that he'd be wearing these gloves or sandwiches and meat. And he said, Yeah, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> and I don't know. Guessing at this time to her in the Garona. Garona time. We don't know if that's just her or not. So that sounds stupid. And like, but that's not like recent. But that's like. Yeah, I pick up on past and stuff. <laughs> And I can pick up past, present, and future, especially with Libras that it goes on future, and it gets confirmed because of something that might be wrong with them now, and it'll still be wrong with them later or not. And it, the future self can change and tell me what it's like, and it's really cool. I can get confirmation, because they don't just tell me something that you, you wouldn't know, you need to know, and it's really cool. Done in Libras, Virgos, they're all different signs, give me different information. <laughs> This is what I noticed. Mm -hmm. But get on the pass first, you know, so you will get confirmation that I'm doing something. Because <laughs> you can't just tell somebody, oh, you reincarnated as this and that. Uh, you don't know that until you get confirmation about, especially with animals, you get confirmation. Because the owner would know how many animals they, they came to them. So whatever. And that's cool. And Virgo's world, the relationship with animals. Thank you. And so they're readable. And that's why I guess. I guess, um... It, yeah, it's like really weird. Like Virgos remind me of people who can hypnotize people and put them into past life regression. That's how that reminds me of their vibes and stuff. It's uh, interesting. Well, that's just how that goes with me, I guess. And the their thing in the world of the vibe is bullshit. I don't know. <laughs> okay, pressure. I'm. I, you know. What I mean? But yeah, you are forced to go fishing with somebody that had glasses, and you said, "Yeah, probably." Yeah. Uh, you were forced to go fishing with somebody with glasses? Yeah, I probably didn't want to go as a kid. Yeah, I know, and hunting, right? They wanted to hunt, make you a hunter and put you in the military. I'm sure. I'm like, because sure. your dad's a Jew. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hell yeah, he probably might be because of your astrology chart. And it turns out kind of be correct. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, anyways, we should. But fishing was like something that my grandparents did, like mm -hmm. Memorial Day and Labor Day. Like, we fished. Okay, and, so I am getting something. And when I was a kid, I would not have wanted to play outdoors. I would have wanted to play on Nintendo. So. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and you even have issues with your shoes being worn out, I guess. Issue with your shoes. And shoelaces, I have no clue. Like, you would change them out or something. Sometimes. Um, they would, would be, like, brown, would brown shoelaces. I strap-on shoes <laughs> over the shoelace shoes because I hated tying. Cool. Yeah, you had issues with your shoes and shoelaces. I died. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Like you would rather sit on the bleachers and play. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And did you do that? <laughs> yep. That's what I was saying. That's where I, I'm at in your vibe thing that helps me gain the awareness of whatever the environment is of the others. 
So that's cool. Beans, I guess. Uh, you played with a highlighter marker? You did? Oh, yeah. Really? <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, uh, I would paint with it or color with it. A yellow one and a pink one? Yeah. And a blue one? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's all they come in, I guess. And green? And orange. And orange. They're just coming to me, and they're all the colors. Wow, generic. But you would play with them, I guess. Uh, and something about an Indian. Um, really? There's something about Indian? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, did you not wear glasses before? Or did you put them on for some reason? Oh, I wear glasses, but I'm wearing contacts right now. Okay, so you did wear glasses. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like, bottle cap looking glasses. Oh, yeah. They were white. I mean, they're clear, all clear. Like, even the frames are clear. Like, mm. they were square, big squares. Square. And, and not round. But yeah. I, just, I just see the thick Mostly square, square, and square thick. ones. Oh, yeah. That's what I see. Why are you painting? Oh, I'm sure, yeah. And then, did you draw a mustache on yourself? And you had a LeBray hat or or, no. or some kind of hat, I don't know, that you wanted to be an artist or something? Well, then you already said painting, so... I was supposed to go to Paris last month. Paris, yeah. yeah. Something cool. Okay, interesting. I guess... And Maybe you, have, you were picking up on that. I don't know. Do you have a uh, glass screen door somewhere in your room or somewhere? Uh, glass screen door. You know what I mean? In, slide. in my dad's, at my dad's house. Yeah. And there was like fake fruit on the table or something? At my grandma's. Wow. And it, it was like, if the fake fruit was not, well, there was some kind of fake fruit that was like, a, a, you know, it's wooden or a, it's not, it's not the plastic one. Well, there is yeah. plastic one, but there's this one that's like, like it's green and it's fabric or it's yarn or, or something like that. Yeah. And it looks like grapes or something. And it's green, green grapes. Something like that. It like, looked like fake fruit, but it was like yarned and hard inside. Yeah. On top of something hard. Really? Yeah. My mom had. Right. Like, yeah. Eight, that doesn't mean that's like the 80s. Yeah. Kind of stuff, mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. Yeah, that's cool. Well, you have a picture of a horse with somebody, like a riding horse person? Do what? A picture of a horse, somebody who's dressed like a horse riding person? Not that I can think of. Whatever, I'm just seeing bullshit then. And a big old dog that's brown. A brown, what, what blackish, brown, blackish brown, like mud, muddy. Yeah, I mean, we we had a bunch of dogs. And he was a big dog. And yeah. his ears were flopped down, but they were small. Mm -hmm. And he had a long muzzle. Mm -hmm. And Bruno looking dog, or something. I don't know. Kind of. A muddy color, I guess. Yeah. And then <clears throat> he, he was long, like his body was long, like a hot dog. But he was big. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, like a boxer. Like his body was long and his legs were short. <laughs> kind of like a big giant wiener dog. Really? Yeah, I could see that. And he was a nice dog, I guess. I've only well, like, I've only had nice dogs. <laughs> well, okay. Uh, okay, I've had one like asshole dog. Okay. Was well, did you have a little one that looked like a pit bull and it was black and white and it I was like his eyes would look weird. Like all dogs do, anyways, and it would, I had its tongue hanging out all the time, and it was like, <laughs> like, I don't know, some kind of dog like that or not. And it was tiny. Probably. <laughs> There's so many. I mean, I've had so many dogs. Like, that's well, the thing. I'm just wondering which one's what. And then you had a white dog with long hair on its ears, and its muzzle was long and skinny, and it had kind of like long fur. Mm -mm. You never had a dog like that? Would your grandma or somebody else have that dog? And it was a big dog. Nothing My grandma that. hates dogs. Well, who had that dog? Nobody that you know? Freak. I mean, Lady and the Tramp, but like... <laughs> but it was this was a white dog. I'm wrong. Kind of. Okay, yeah. My uncle in Greenwood. Um, I know. I but anyway, know. <laughs> whatever. Anyways, its ear hair was long and its muzzle was long. But it, yeah. But, and it, it had fur. Oh, yeah. And it was white. Fluffy. Yeah. And it was kind of a big dog, though. Yeah. And, uh, Scary. Okay. Do you want to know his name? 
Cynthia. <laughs> it starts with a C. Sissy. Sissis. Chico. Chico. Okay. Well, whatever. <laughs> and it would sit there like a painting on the couch or something. It looked prayer. He was in, well, he might have been indoors sometimes, but he was mostly outdoor. But he bit my uncle's nose off. Wow. His what uncle a... has a really big scar right here. Wow, that would be cool to pick up on, right, if I got that? <laughs> yeah. Damn. And you said something about mean dogs, and that was the dog I picked up on after I picked up on some line, a little, tiny little pit bull looking thing. No clue. Like, it had white hair and black ears. This is the one that looked like a pit bull or something. Is it on the end? Maybe my yeah. sister. And it was little. Little tiny. I don't know. I, think. I don't know. Um. I don't know. Uh, um. So back to the picture of who's dead, people. <laughs> See if I can pick up on anything of that, I guess. Golfing or whatever. Did you play miniature golf? Yeah, sometimes when I was younger. When you had that brown dog? <laughs> Mm, probably. Probably once. What? I'm so confused. Everyone can play miniature golf. I have no clue um, why I was so significant with your sister. I don't know. I don't know! Long-winded. Okay, here's some old pictures. Of someone who's dead. <laughs> or of you and kids. Of you as kids or something. No, it's, it's like old. Like old, old, like... Treatments. Probably like asthma boring. treatment. Asthma treatment. Nostrils. An oxygen mask on the nose is Probably. what I'm seeing in my head on this person. Maybe. Or like breathing problems, obviously. Yeah. Like the lung. Like something. The tube on its nose. <laughs> um, breathing shit. And um, breathing treatments. Um, um, and yellow jackets. <laughs> Maybe. Is that one something to do with you, too? No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like yellow jackets. I've been attacked by yellow jackets before. Something about that. But not you. related to him. And, and your insecurities back then? Mm. You yeah. had insecurities and... In you would try different things that would not be good for your body. <laughs> Is that true? Probably. And, um... Did you smoke cigarettes back then, too? Yeah. That's bad for you. <laughs> and, uh... Is this your boyfriend? Mm -mm. Wait. Did you think of him like that? <laughs> no. Okay, then. Did you have one back then or something? That you mm -hmm. thought about? I mean, I probably thought about it, but... I don't know. You read books all the time? No. You didn't? I do not read. <laughs> not read, no. Well, I can was, read. I well, choose not to. Well, what, wasn't there a book that you did read? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I read a few. Like, I'm not a reader, though. Yeah. Was it... I don't know what it was. Bible or something? <laughs> yeah, I mean... Did you read that? Yeah, I've, I've read the Bible. Do you know anything about the four-faced king? The what? The four-faced being in the Bible. Because nobody the... knows about it, and not even preachers, but I've seen it, and I didn't ever know it. I didn't even know it existed, but I encountered that bitch. Is it a type of angel? Mm-hmm. Okay. It's yeah, like a I've read about it. It's, it's, um, what is it called? Cher it's not cherub. Seraphim. Seraphim, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. I don't know, I never knew that existed, and that's fucking freaky, and it's in the Bible, and, yeah, and, and a, preacher people are angel. dumb about everything, but why don't they ever speak about something that crazy, and that thing is actually exists, has four faces, not four heads, and lion face, eagle face, ox face, human face, human face is like Aquarius, lion face, Leo, eagle face, Scorpio, ox face, Taurus, and has like all these wings with eyeballs inside the wings, eyeballs inside the wings. How could I fucking know what that is when I saw it and I never knew that existed? And then I looked it up. I was like, what is this crazy thing? I thought it was like some kind of Egyptian, um, you know how Egyptians have like dog heads and when I picture it, that's the way I see it. Yeah. And it's crazy. So, and it, and it came to me like a strobe light every time it changed its face and look in the Bible, it says two months later, I looked it up on YouTube and they have that seraphim information. And then in the Bible, it says, 
it came to somebody like lightning. <laughs> I drove light, hello, and it had eyeballs in its wings. Eyeballs in its wings. A whole bunch of eyeballs. Hello, alienness. What? Preachers are dumb about everything. They're so closed-minded about everything, but this is in the Bible, and it's actually real. It's not just symbols of something. It's actually a real being. It's a protector of God's throne or something. Insaneness. Okay, thank you. Anyways, I've seen that. But um, whatever you know about that, tell me about it later. <laughs> okay. Um, and we'll record it, because I want to know everything, information about that as I can possibly know, because I've seen it, and I'm like, what the hell, right? And it told me, I can assist you magically. The word magically? What does that even mean? How's that even real? Because this other spirit, she, you told me, I can assist you with healing. Well, whatever. And But anyways, that's interesting. Er, and more annoying, because that word's retarded, but it's not. That, apparently. Really? What does that mean? I don't know. Magically. Okay. Really? Who knows? Whatever. I, that's confusing, because it sounds so fantasy and stupid. Yeah, I'm so sure. Magic. Well... Yeah, right. Y'all are just blobs of energy. What kind of magic can you really do? Oh, in the energy, you can be probably anything because you're like, whatever. But physically, as if, cause, or else there would be more phenomenal stuff, physical stuff that would be more amazing and hard to explain too because people would actually care. But oh, <clears throat> back to the Pacifics, this lung person or this breathing person. I don't know. I'm losing it. Did they have a son? So confused. Mm -hmm. And he had to watch her die? Or he was always there while she was dying? Or... I can't tell if the person who can't breathe is a boy or a girl. Don't tell me. <laughs> but because I'm back to the other chick with the brain surgery. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know, but this one person... I can't tell, but they have a son that, and they would always look out the window, uh, in the hospital or something, the son. And the bed was like, like, here's the bed and here, and there's the window. Like if you're, and the head would be on your right side, if you were facing them. I don't know. <laughs> Screw you. <laughs> well, it would have been like before I was born, so. What? <laughs> something about Adam's apple. Anything to do with that? The Adam's apple. We have to go in and do surgery on the Adam's apple. <laughs> Did they do surgery on the Adam's apple? I don't. I don't know. The Adam. Ab I don't think so. Abdomen. <laughs> I don't know. Adam and Eve. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm disconnecting. I'm defusing. I don't fucking know. Where's my options? What is the people now? Where's the look? This guy. This guy. It's a guy. I'm calling the cops. Oh, he looks like a Sagittarius. Or he looks like a zebra. He looks charming. He looks like a Virgo. Mmm, let me see what he looks like. Mm -hmm. Um. His teeth. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Scorpio. <laughs> I can't tell. What? Let's go see what his astrology sign is. So you have the lung problems or something? Or brain? Lung cancer. Lung cancer. That was before I even saw the puncture. I'm mad about it. <laughs> well, that was cool because... Wow. I got those. Ding, 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 ding. Psychic test network. Her, her, her. But I am getting confused, so... We'll be back after these messages. Unless you got the information. I've got it. We, we got the information. He was born in October. What? He's a pretty Libra. I was right. <laughs> Did I say that? Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was a beautiful Libra. And, and then I was like, maybe a Scorpio. But, you know, Scorpio's pretty close to Libra. And so is Virgo. But he's... He, and I, I, at first I thought it was such a... Then I was like, oh, he's a Libra. <laughs> so... October 14th. October, when did he die? April 8th. Oh, an Aries month. 1984. Declared to... Oh, and what was his birthday again? October 14th. And what, what's the... 1923. 1923. Wow, okay. Well, we got that. We can look at the birth charts if you want to. Okay. And if he died of something with his lungs and we know what time he was born, he'd probably have 8,000 Gemini. Excuse me. Astrology is real. <laughs> Accurate. 
Excuse me. This anyway. is not on before he died. Oh, still a queen of labor. Still got that sparkle of the num. Oh, oh, so much for my happy ending. Okay, and um, okay. Let's see. Is that his wife or something? His sister? Yeah, it's my grandma. Okay, well, let's see who she is. She looks like a Cancer sign or something. Aquarius. Let's see. What do you think her sign is? Let's look at her. I think she was born in December. December. She might be a Sagittarius or um, Capricorn. So I was wrong about that. So whatever. Oh, you're looking it up? Yeah. Really? You can find all this stuff? Yeah, when you know your family's names. Oh my goodness. Don't say them. Born December. Okay, so she was December 22nd. December, November. So she was like sad cherry menace. Cancer's side is, Cancer's and Sagittarius is Mar Marius. This is similar look to them in a way. Sometimes, but not really. And Cancer's look different too. Like, don't get me wrong. I've, there's all kinds of different ways it looks. Whatever. Screw that information. Okay. So that's that. And, um, is she alive? No. Okay. Well, let's see how, like, if I can pick up on that, um, Confused. I'm gonna do that out for a minute. Astrology analysis on him. Okay, so he. This is a picture, and I don't have a battery. Oh my god, my battery's dead or something. I guess my car battery's dead. Okay, this is a picture of him and his grandma. She's a Sagittarius. He is a um, Virgo Sagittarius rising moon in Taurus. Your rising sign is how you look at the face and how you are perceived right away and. Stuff like that. Isn't that crazy how that is? Okay, so there you go. Let's see if my car works. It works, but the lights. For some reason, I guess they go out a certain time, they get charged or something. Okay, then. That was scary. Okay, I guess I can remove your astrology um, chart by heart. Well, let's tell you this. This is my analysis on this astrology, because astrology doesn't exist without the astrologer, and this is my interpretation and analysis alone without having to read about your bullshit. This is about matching up people's experiences. So. Okay! Okay, your sun sign. It was in, it's in Virgo. Okay. So, and it's in the ninth house, which is cool. And your ninth house is in Virgo. I remember that. And in your moon is in Taurus, in the fifth house, Taurus, which means parties and get-togethers, and, like, you get m gain money and sell things, probably. And, um, also, it means your mother treated you like a celebrity, and she was, like, a narcissist, and it makes you loyal to have having fun, and she was like, oh, let's have fun, and she'd be like, here's money, are you crying? Here's money, and here's some food, and it was no emotions. It was just like, here's money, and here's some food, and you got taught money and food is love, and so is attention, and being a narcissist, and like, um, is that true? <laughs> yeah. And then your Saturn was in Scorpio, and it's in the 11th house, um, Scorpio, so you're chaotic with your friends and social media and stuff, and like, also, it means your daddy was like, don't wear that leopard shirt, oh my god, you need to go to boot camp right now, and they were, he was prejudiced and racist, and like, you had to find your unique self and thrive on your ego with being crumbled and humbling your e ego and considering it obviously as a joke when it goes big inflated because it is it's funny but you can see how it would go that way and also it would give you restrictions on uh something like knowledge it can give you the power of knowledge of astrology and it can take it away from you and then give you this just all together some kind of knowing knowledge and a good healthy ego and then it'd take it away from you if you're dumb about it or something mean about it or something like that is trying to humble and balance out your ego and then um was that true <laughs> a little bit and i don't know like um and you might have something wrong with your ankles maybe or not ever problems or not knees your knees well that would be capricorn because they roll the knees because aquarius has rolled the ankles and Capricorns with the bones, but who knows, whatever. And then, um, your Venus is in Leo, and your Mars is in Leo, and they're both in the 8th house Cancer, so, like, you could be, like, super jealous or something, and possess them, or not, or you could, well, this is what I say anyways, too, um, but also, you don't get mad 
easily. You only get mad if your pet and ego is uh, hurt, right? Or that's true. And you'll do something really petty to somebody if they make you mad. Oh yeah. <laughs> like really, okay, and um. And it also means you probably have multiple orgasms or something. Even though Virgo is a sign of not that very sexual because of the virgin and they're, they're very reserved and they don't have to, you know, do stuff like that. And plus Mars in the eighth house, which is ruler of sex, doesn't mean you want to do stuff like that. Like you don't have to have sex. It, you can uh, reserve yourself for a long time and then you'll project all this stuff and make other people horny. And that'll be one of your manipulative spells that you put on people because of it. <laughs> Weird, huh? And then, um... And being Venus and Leo means you're very generous with all your friends and stuff and relationships. And you like to t make it turn into a story, like when you meet them. I'm a terrible storyteller, but yes. Oh, but you make, like, wait, how you meet people, it, you turn into a story. I don't know, but... Um, yeah, I, I could tell a story about how I've met people. Okay, and your Mercury is in Leo, so you're a very good explainer. <laughs> and you, when, when you talk, people listen. And you have third house Pisces, so you would write about spiritual stuff or creative stuff and be sympathy to other people, I guess. And your Jupiter is in Aquarius. I don't remember what house it's in of luck. But um, your Lilith is in Taurus. So people, and it's also in the fifth house. And people don't want to see you be like this money hungry person or this narcissist or demand respect or something. And then you do it anyways and become proud of yourself. And you are so proud of your relationships and your beauty and your financial security. And also um, something about... Oh, yeah, your Jupiter's in Aquarius in that second house, Capricorn, which means you're lucky with possessions and comfort and food and stuff. And beauty and relationships. And um, stability. I'm, I'm really lucky. Like, <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. Like, you were spilled by your mom, but also you're lucky anyways. Yes. And at parties, you're lucky with money somehow and food. Yeah. The holidays. Yep. And, and you have a beautiful heart because of your fifth houses in Taurus, and Taurus is represents a beauty anywhere in your chart, which is Libra or Taurus or Venus, is where you're beautiful. And so you will be dead as beautiful because your Venus and Mars are both in the eighth house. I don't know if there, there's other houses, there are other planets that are in your eighth house. I don't know, remember what it so your eighth house is in Cancer. So you might die of some kind of stomach problem or, um, uh, or anything that has to do with your neck, the Venus and. Leo, or heart problems. You could die of a heart problem because Venus and Leo, conjunct your Mars and Leo, Leo rules the heart, could be a heart problem and, and a cancer. You could also gain money through having kids because other people's money, cancer, having a home, other people's homes. You could gain a house through your dad because your Saturn's in Leo. I mean, in, I mean your Saturn's in Scorpio. So if your dad ever dies, you could inherit another home or something, you think? He's already told me that I would... Wow. Wow. And, um, a family home. Because cancer was family. And your siblings are really, really nice and sweet to you because your third house is Pisces. Is this true? I don't know about that. Okay. They're well. jealous of me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would provoke jealousy with the Mars in the 8th house, too, of Leo, all the attention that you get. Yeah. And all the, um, being surrounded and everyone walks in eggshells around you for some reason. Yeah. Because I can be a little bit <laughs> well, overwhelming. Well, let me tell you, you have a uh, crown in Gemini, and but Ceres ends in Leo, which means you put everybody on the spotlight and you treat everyone else like a celebrity. And, um, you know, you could be a talk show host and you treat everyone good. And, and when you walk into a room of serious people, you make everything, the environment changes and it makes everyone just become like, they feel like they just got off work and they're just your friend. Like, you make everyone feel at ease. Comfortable. comfortable. Yeah, like, yeah. If in a serious place, like, people shouldn't act up or do anything. You walk in the room, and you're, like, flashing your shit, and, like, just everyone's at ease for some reason. Uh, I'm pretty good at cracking a joke when it needs to be done. Well, it's, like, the presence is what it's, how you heal other people. They come, yeah. People come to you for that spotlight yeah. stuff, too. Yeah. They expect that out of you anyways. Plus, your mother treats you like this, so you know how to treat others like that in a way, too. Yeah. That's crazy. And it's fun and expressive and creative. So that's groovy. You put it where the place needs, the spotlight needs. And then you can punish them by taking all the energy away from them. You're like, ha, 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 ha. So that's my analysis of what I can remember of your... Oh, yeah, you have 10th house, Libra. 
you are going to be very beautiful on camera and on stage and relational. And everyone, when you're with, when you have a picture of with, with somebody, everybody be like, oh, y'all are going to get married, aren't y'all? Y'all are going to get married. And then two weeks later, you'll be with somebody else. Be like, are y'all going to get married? Like everyone just automatically assumes things like that. Like you'll post your relationships and it won't even be anyone that you're with, but everyone thinks that you're going to marry them. Because you're so good at relationships somewhere. Like, it's a serial marriage monogamous person. You think you're like that? Mm. Like, you'll marry people and get remarried and... Probably, because I don't want to ever be married. So. <laughs> Contradicting. So, if I, but if I was to get married, like, I don't think I could just stay with one person. Oh, you are like Venus and Leo in the um, eighth house. <laughs> Cancer. Whatever. And do you ever feel like sometimes you have to get your family's approval of who you're with? Oh, yeah. You do? Oh, yeah. Okay, because, like, 8th house cancer, which means, and Venus there, um, would, and also you would welcome everybody in and, and, um, feed them sweets and stuff and mother them when they come in, because it's next to the sun cancer, Venus. Lovely. I take... And, you'll, and you will spoil food them. And yeah, like a mother. Yeah. And you'll spoil them like you spoil your family or something. Mm -hmm. And um, this is just astrology analysis for fun. And um, uh, do you ever make people make CDs, tapes, and stuff? Yeah, I used to. Venus and Leo. There you have it. It's like a cancer thing, but it's a Venus and Leo thing too. Cool. <laughs> Grooves. Oh yeah, I guess that's my fast quick review on that. Toodles.